week. What the hell did you say to Narendra? You know, I'm at a real good point in my book right now. Something happened between you two? Oh, and wouldn't you like that? Oh, Sheila, I, I only want what's best for you. I talked to Dr. Patel. Why don't you mind your own business? Don't you speak back to your father What's the like... difference between speaking back and speaking up? I'm sorry if your father threw cold water all over your love nest. I didn't throw a thing. Narendra cabled his parents to call off his engagement. Bob, what did you say to him? Nothing about that. Oh, you weren't crying. Oh, didn't you want him to choose you? Yes, but not because you forced him to. Stop. Stop mothering me. Live your own life. Our nation's ammunition output has never been greater than it is today. Canada now produces more explosives in six months than the entire Great War. Hey, Betty. Vic Muse production alone. So are you busy? Uh, no, I'm only practicing the biggest speech of my life. It's about Kate. Kate something's off. I've never met somebody who's so torn up about her family before. What happened? The way I see it, our Kate never once felt loved. Who you, Ivy? That's where you come in. We in business? Device is set for when the Governor General gives his speech at two. Where's Mahoney? He'll be here. I'm not happy about it, my friend. I don't care. I want us both in the back of Mahoney's car heading for the border before it blows. He thinks you don't trust him. I don't. I left a letter naming names. Once he gets us south of Buffalo, I phone a friend. If he doesn't receive my call, the letter gets delivered. If we take the fall for this, we fall together. You have no clue what Mahoney could do to us. This is not a game you want to play. People, the Earl of Athlone and his consort, Her Royal Highness, Princess Alice, Countess of Athlone, will be here in 20 minutes. When I give the signal, the Vice Regal Salute will be played, at which point the doors will open and all will rise. The Earl and Countess will make their way to the dais where I will present a bouquet to Princess Alice. <laughs> Thought it was eight year olds who like to shove flowers in a princess's face. Hey, it's Carol's parade. Don't rain on it. I will then show the Earl and Countess to their seats where they will take a moment to relax and enjoy the scenery. Then and only then will you sit. And Miss McRae will speak about the bombs. Business is still pretty good. Look at this place. Your dad's doing really well. You're kidding, right? Nobody buys fireworks no more. Even if they did, can't get inventory. Suppliers are shut off. Everything goes to the damn war effort. Could be worse. Yeah? How? Could be your old man they locked up. Frankie, when they declared war in Italy? Yeah. We came up our street. My mom was on the porch, sobbing her guts out. Said I had to go to the detainment center. 
Bring Pa's rosary and a warm coat. I remember that. We told you to do the same. Except, uh, your dad didn't need an extra coat, did he? He got out the next morning. I loaded my old man on a truck. I'm just wondering why you're bringing my dad up now. Because I want to hear from you what happened. That's it. No stupid moves, Marco. You'll get us killed. Mr. Mahoney. I don't enjoy picking up hitchhikers, you got me? We're in this together, sir? Yeah. Together. Now let's move. He's here. The Governor General's here. Take him down. 